The economy is on the ropes and the government is on vacation. Congress is just a few days into a five-week break from Washington, D.C. And as our Scott McFarland discovered, you might be surprised by what they're doing and how much it's costing us. The seats and the hallways are empty. If there is a financial emergency in America right now, there's no one in the U.S. Capitol to address it. The White House says there are no plans to call Congress back from its five-week summer recess to respond to the Wall Street crisis. And paperwork re-review shows if there were plans, congressional leaders would have to cancel a bunch of personal fundraisers to do so. We found an invitation for a golfing fundraiser today in Ohio. The Speaker of the House listed as one of the attendees. Georgia Congressman Tom Price's campaign event this week on beautiful St. Simons Island. There's a Lake Tahoe casino event with Senate Democrats and another golf outing for a Republican senator in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Gabriella Schneider says this happens every time Congress goes home. It begs the question, how is it that they always find the time to raise money, but we don't have the time to address the problems of our economy? Thing is, we're still paying for Congress during the long break. Staffers must still get paychecks. We pay for much of the travel back home, too. And our data shows this summer recess will cost 12 million tax dollars a day. Though former staffers say it's worth every penny. Visit with constituents, hear about what's going on on the ground, instead of just being here in the Washington, D.C. bubble. Several local members of Congress do have busy schedules back home this week. Congressman Steve Austria today with the 711th Human Performance Wing at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Senator Sherrod Brown set for a jobs event in Cincinnati. But it seems whatever happens on Wall Street, they won't be back here in D.C. until after Labor Day.